There's no question Idaho's have some big hearts, don't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. Earlier at 5, we told you that the Gem State is ranked number 5 in the nation for volunteerism, and we gave you a couple of stats from a report. And the big one was that volunteer work from Idahoans is valued up to $1.1 billion. That's a lot. Yeah. Now at 6, Local News 8's Taja uh, Davis spoke to a couple of places about their volunteers. Taja? Well, Jay Carroll, I talked with Ermac, the Snake River Animal Shelter, and Habitat for Humanity, and they all couldn't be more grateful for the work their volunteers contribute. Wow. Well, for the Snake River Animal Shelters, volunteers keep us running. So, um, truly, um, any nonprofit can't do without volunteers, and uh, volunteerism is really what helps us all thrive. Habitat for Humanity's uh, mission talks about bringing people together. So we use volunteers in every aspect of what we do. Um, and I am so, we, we couldn't serve as many families if we didn't have volunteer labor. So over the years it's increased. I think this past year we had 13,000 volunteer hours logged. It gives me uh, a purpose. You know, if you're helping somebody, it's a whole lot better than not helping somebody. It's, it, it services. Uh, is a very important uh, uh, an aspect of my life to to be of some value to others. I love working here. It's fun. There's a it's a great environment to work in. You know, I feel like if I can help one person in my eight four hour shift, and it makes me feel so good. And I go home and I count my blessings every day. You know, because I love to volunteer, and this is a wonderful organization. Volunteers have really big hearts. The Snake River Animal Shelter is having a volunteer appreciation luncheon tomorrow at the shelter from 12 to 1 p.m. The event is for current volunteers and for anyone who may be interested in signing up as well. In the studio tonight, I'm Taja Davis. All right, thanks, Taja. To find ways to volunteer for the organizations Taja talked to or even other places that you might want to lend a hand, uh, you can go to our website, localnews8.com.